NAFTA, though, uh, it's hard for me to, to, to believe and to remember that in 1988, when I was campaigning on the free trade agreement, I was opposed by the liberals, the NDP, the media, the universities, everybody. At one point in time in my campaign, uh, you, you remember, may remember this, my support uh, was down to members of my immediate family. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can remember calling my mother, my late mother, and she put me on old. <laughs> and I'm paying for the call. <laughs> so it's now changed a great deal and everybody, now that our exports to the United States uh, have made, and, and vice versa, have made us the largest bilateral trading relationship in the history of the world. And we've developed with NAFTA uh, a trading relationship worth $1.2 trillion a year. There's nothing like this in history. This is how extraordinary it is. So we've got to preserve NAFTA. And the question is, you know, what has NAFTA become? And this is the argument that, that should be make, made to President Trump. Look, his math is, as they say in America, sometimes fuzzy, you know. Actually, it's fuzzy in Canada, too, because the other day I saw in New Brunswick, the liberal leader got 20 seats and the conservative leader got 21. And the liberal government's, the liberal leader's been asked to form a government. Why the hell didn't they think of that when I was there? <laughs> I could have won a lot more elections with this kind of math. But, but NAFTA is 500 million people of three friendly countries uh, with a $1.2 trillion trade in goods and services. Uh, and, um, you know, with 7% of the world's population, we generate 29% of the world's total wealth. So this is an extraordinary thing. 55 million new jobs have been created since I signed that NAFTA agreement with George Bush in 1992 and President Salinas. That's apart from the job creation going on in, in the economy generally. This is just as a result of NAFTA. 55 million new jobs. So you can imagine the millions that were created here in Canada. So we have to get this thing done um, I'll certainly readily acknowledge, uh, Hugh, that um, it was easier for me dealing with Ronald Reagan and then with George Bush on NAFTA uh, than, than uh, it is for Justin to deal with uh, my old friend Donald. I hope he doesn't listen to my speech tomorrow. 